guys, it's KK, and for today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make the rainbow loom a charm. I'm making this charm because I have gotten a lot of requests on letters that I should do, and I thought I'd make the first letter of the alphabet, and... Um, eventually, I'll start making more and more letters until I reach the um, all the letters of the alphabet, hopefully. So, before you, well, before we go on to the rest of the video, please subscribe to be notified when I do make another video on a letter charm or anything that I put on. So, thank you if you did. And let's get to it. So your loom would naturally look like this. It'd be uneven. So if you have already watched my E charm, you would know that we want to pop the middle one out and make it even. But if you haven't, this is what exactly we're going to do. We're going to take it. This might be a little difficult, and pop it out. Mine was pretty easy. Okay, so now it was like this. Now it's popped out. So we're going to move this up and on, just like that. So now it's even. So you can put your crochet to the side, and we'll start placing the ribbons on after you make sure your arrow's facing up or away from you. Or if you like to work um, with the arrow facing towards you, make sure that you're putting the rubber bands the way that the arrow is facing. So you would be fa putting the rubber bands on going with the arrows. See, you can see the arrows. So you're going with the arrows, kind of like par parallel, kind of. So I think you get the idea. So for this tutorial, um, I'm going to keep my loom in a diagonal-ish pos diagonal position so that you can see what's on the loom and you can see how many rubber bands. So you're going to take two rubber bands, yes, two. As you see, this has two knots for extra secure. So this is what we're going to do first. You don't necessarily have to put two rubber bands. It's up to you, but I like to keep it secured. So you can go, you can either go like here to here. I like to do that, or you can go here to here. As long as it's like this, kind of. So just like that. So make sure the one that's on the top of one side is also the top on the other side. Because when you hook it, and it's turned, it's, it comes out not so pretty. That's just a quick tip of mine. So now you're going to go diagonally, which might be a little long, but um, we're just going to do it anyways. So you're going to go, and you're going to put the rubber band going diagonally. And this is also done with two rubber bands, and you can see that this one that's on the top on one side is now the bottom, so I'm just going to flip it. It was the bottom on the other side, so I just slipped it onto the top. Just like that. Now you're going to do the same thing with the other side. Whoop! Slingshot! <laughs> that was surprising. So you're going to go, and you're just going to go from here to here. Just like that. Make sure what's on the top on one side is the top on the other side. What I mean by this is that you do not want this, for example, or I'll use this rubber band. See how this is on the top on this side? You don't want it to be the bottom over here, like that, so it's turned. You want it to be even. This makes your charm look more, um, just pretty. <laughs> So, you're just going to go down, up, 
Then you're going to go on the other side and you're just going to go down, down, and again, one more time, down. Just like that. So, now this is what your loom should look like. Just like this. The reason we did it so short is because we want it to be spaced out so that you can see the hole in the A. See, there's like a hole in the A. <laughs> and so, yeah. So then you're going to grab three rubber bands. You can put your loom aside. We're not going to be working with this. For, this. for these two steps. So one, wrap it around another time, and a third time. So now it's wrapped around three times. Yes, three times. You're gonna grab two rubber bands, put it on, and just slip it off. You're going to take this end and put it on just like that. Get your loom, go to the end, and slip this off. I like to pull the part of my crochet out. So you're just going to go like this, and just like that. So now you're just going to do this step again. So you're going to go one, two, three. So now it's wrapped around three times. Take this, you're going to go off with it. If it doesn't come off the first time, you can redo it and do that. But mine's just came right off. So again, you're going to take this side and put it on just like that. Get your loom. And this time I'll show it like this. So just like that, as you see. This is what your loom should look like. <laughs> you can put these to the side out, facing out. These little holes. So now you're going to take two rubber bands and you're going to go from here to here and then you're going to go and let's do it from here. From here to here. So that's what your loom should look like. Just like this. So now we're going to do a capping band. So you're going to take a rubber band, put it around your finger, flip it into a finger eight, and slide it back on like that. Then you're going to take the rubber band again, put it make it into a figure eight and slide it on again. Now it's wrapped around three times. This might be a little difficult, but you're going to put it on one peg. So now it's time to hook. You're going to hook this part first. So go under the capping band and grab the top two rubber bands. So as you can see, I pulled the three back. And this might be a little difficult. So, hold the capping band down so that it doesn't slip off and ruin your charm. Or at least one part of your charm. <laughs> so now you're going to go and you hooked it over there. So now, I'll just show it like this. You're going to go under the capping band again. And slip it off like that. Just like that. So now you're going to go here and you're going to stretch this out. This is what I like to do. And just basically hook it up. Then you're going to go in, grab the bottom two, and hook it going up. You're going to go in, grab the bottom two again. Then you're going 
going to go up. And this is where it gets a little tricky. You're just going to go diagonally. It's not too hard, but it's a long hook, so it might be a little tight. So now you're going to go back to the bottom. Go under and grab the bottom too. You can hold it down so that it's not going to fall off. Then you go, grab the bottom too, hook it up. Oops. It's going to go. Now I'll turn my loom around so that you can see. So you can see I hooked it. So I'm going to go behind and grab the bottom too and hook it so that it's going up so it's like that so you're going to go down again grab the bottom too and hook it going diagonally just like we did and it might be a little tight so now we're on to the knot so you're going to go down just go up like a single just like we did with Grab the bottom two rubber bands and go up like a single. Simple. But now, it's a little tricky because if you made them too close, you might not be able to see. But I put it pretty far from the bottom two. So, as you can see, there's a little gap between this part, these two parts, and these two parts. So we're going to grab the bottom two parts and bring that to the top just like that stretch this out and pull it now you can take off your A don't stretch the rubber bands out too much because you do not want a rubber band to break so you can just pull the knot so that it's secured and you can adjust your A which I'm doing right now kind of make it to that A shape just like this so here is your A and what it looks like thank you so much for watching please like comment and please 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 subscribe if you subscribe like I said in the beginning you'll be notified whenever I make a new video so if you don't subscribe please stay tuned and eventually subscribe <laughs> But anyways, thanks for watching.